This is a brief unboxing video of the Eero Pro 6. I pre-ordered this on the day it was announced, within minutes actually, and it arrived today, Wednesday, November 4th, from Ingram Micro in Plainfield, Indiana, in a ginormous box. And it's labeled uh, 8.3 pounds. So this is a hefty box, and we're gonna actually not just unbox it, but in future videos, we'll be covering a comparison here. And I'm probably gonna go with wired backhaul and not even really test the Nash capabilities. I just wanna see if the you know, new CPU and grunt that this has compared to the four-year-old Eero that I just briefly showed you. We'll see how that does for speed. So let's start with the close look at the box here in 4K glory. Um, I'll mention it's a box that's gonna open like a hinge there. And again, rather hefty, impressive box. Okay, so here's all the specs. Um, now, I don't have an iPhone 12 Pro Max just yet. So it's gonna take a little time for me to do some Wi-Fi 6 testing. And more and more details, and here's the actual part number and FCC ID and all that good information. Hopefully autofocus served me well there. What else does it say? Not much on that side. A little bit right here. And here's what's included. So these are going to look identical. Each one will look like the other. And again, this is the Pro. And I plan to use wired backhaul. All right, I haven't even seen any other box unboxing videos. This is the first for me as well. And again, I think it's gonna be really helpful for someone watching, especially if you're an existing Aero user to get a sense of how much bigger this is. <laughs> Than the existing ones. Very nice. We even have foam in here. Uh, kind of overkill. Um, ends up being, you know, landfill. All right. Uh, different specs. Uh, this doesn't even say the voltage here or the amperage, but this label is a little more detailed. Let's get up and close and please autofocus. There we go. Uh, there's the model number that was also on the outside of the box. Serial number. Uh, no MAC address, which is kind of interesting. Is that a button? What is that? Yes, that seems to be a factory default button. You know, push and hold kind of thing. Uh, yeah, there's no more recessed pinhole. So I think that's probably a pretty good guess. So physically, not a whole lot to see, which is good. So it blends into a countertop a little better. And how about the side profile? All right, you get the idea. And then the back view. So they've tidied up the back. It looks better from behind. No LEDs to show ethernet activity, which means in a bedroom, it won't be visually uh, disturbing. So that's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you want to look at it. Let's see what else is in the box. Quick start guide. Download the app, a little piece of uh, foam here to keep it from scuffing up the shiny surface of the Eero, it would seem, or the, the logo, interesting. Okay, new style of power supply, of course, because we know it's USB 3, and a nice Apple-esque Ethernet cable there. Yeah, it seems like three feet, but it is attractive as far as Ethernet cables go. Let's have a look at the power cable. Label on the power cable. Input 100 to 240 volts. Output 5 volts. 3 amps, 15 watts. Or 9 volts, 3 amps, 27 watts. What we know from the unit, it's going to be using 9. And the connector type, again, USB-C. This cable looks to be 5 feet. All right, so when we plug it in, it's gonna look very nice. All right, finishing up here, are the other ones identical? And the answer is yes, but no ethernet there. Makes sense. And same thing with no ethernet. So that's it for the unboxing. Let's do a little bit of watt burn testing here. Old arrow, plug it in. We 
me for it to boot up. And new arrow here. And in a moment, we'll plug that in as well. So we're on amps. We want to be on watts. So five watts for the old. About four watts as well. If anything, it's slightly less. So that's a good sign. You can see a oscillating light there. So it looks like the LED pattern and the uh, functionality is similar to the old. Eight point five ounces. New <laughs> twenty four ounces. So three times as much weight. I would strongly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see the video that comes out follow on where I start doing some tests of this around my home, um, by all means, subscribe. Also, tinkertry.com. There's a weekly newsletter of all articles. You'll get automatically notified of new articles by subscribing there as well. Uh, also, consider a thumbs up. It'll help other people see this video and know that you got something out of it on a very new product that I don't think um, anyone else has really unboxed on camera, or at least not pressed. This is a unit I bought myself with my own money. And please do leave a comment below the video. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and hear what you're interested in. I won't be able to do super scientific testing with you know hundreds of data points and all over the home. That's already been done, okay? My focus, again, will be in a bridge network, not using Amazon account or the filtering family stuff. Nope, these can be bridge modes. These can be Wi-Fi pass-through, and I'm gonna be using a Ubiquiti router for all my DTP and DNS stuff. So I'm only gonna be testing the pure CPU grunt of these things when they're wired. I'm not even testing the mesh functionality. So for that audience, hopefully you'll find those future videos helpful. Thank you again for watching. Bye for now.